like a social network for your company, but unlike other um, sort of corporate social networks or discussion boards, the content isn't siloed into different topics or applications. It's all in a feed that's very easy to access and you can access it on uh, any mobile device. We have an iPhone app, uh, we have SMS, we have IM. So the idea that you can create content with one simple form and follow content with one feed, it's an approach that's become very popular. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you today about a tool we all, well, some of us know and love. It's a tool that truly revolutionized how we thought about user acquisition customer acquisition costs, scaling, network effects, traction, you know, I've really spearheaded this whole bring your own device, bring your own software to the enterprise. And I know what you're thinking, you know, clearly I'm talking about Slack, you know, Slack, the email replacement, the tool so good, um, so much more efficient than email in that it blows up our to-do list. It drastically increases the amount of pings and notifications we get throughout the day. And it's tethered to our bodies so much so to the point that states are exploring restricting usage after certain points in the day. And it's not asynchronous like email too, because you know, who likes that, right? That sucks. But no, I'm not talking about Slack. As good as that may be. I'm talking about the original Slack. Slack 1.0. I call it, and you call it, Yammer. Remember Yammer? It was so popular, <laughs> you might have thought it was gluten free. Yammer was to startups what Sweet Green is to lunchtime in New York City. It came about circa 2008. You can think of it like GroupMe for adults or SharePoint for kids. And it was an awesome tool. It had messaging, collaboration tools project management features, all the good stuff. It came, it conquered, was acquired, and evolved, like all great software, into everything that it hated. <laughs> Bloated software. And the icing on the cake, it ended up getting replaced by a tool very much reminiscent of its, its own self, just with a new name, Slack. And that's pretty much where we are as a society, regurgitating the same tools and ideas over and over and over again. Well, here's to the future.